Good evening, family, friends, and folks who follow me on my wonderful little cooking channel here. I uh, am pretty excited today. Oh my god, my apron! Gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot my apron. As I was saying, pretty excited today because we are doing yet another lemon recipe. <laughs> kind of a theme it's spring like who doesn't love citrus flavored things I know I do but yeah so we're doing something else that has lemon in it this is for my dear co-worker who will be transferring to another location of the company that I work for and I wish her all the best there I know she'll be super happy it's a lot closer to her house and it's, it'll, it'll be a good move for her and um, I'm really happy for her that she gets to be able to do this and so as her farewell present I am making lemon bars and I know I've made lemon bars on this channel before but y'all are gonna have to get used to a lot of repeat recipes because there are so many different ways to make things um, especially lemon bars and this one I'm kind of excited about because the crust is um, kind of like a shortbread cookie type crust um, so hopefully hopefully it all comes together really well and tastes good um, if not I already told her that I would make her the other lemon bars that I've made before, but these, these should be good. I've made them once before and they turned out okay, <laughs> so, all right, let's get started. You need to not drop things. <sighs> okay, you need one cup of flour. I need um, <clears throat> I need a quarter cup of powdered sugar, which this is kind of unusual. I've never really made um, like a pastry crust before that had powdered sugar in it. So whatever. I need um, half a cup of cold butter, and I just cubed it up because that'll make it easier to. Incorporate. Oh, this has been setting up for a few minutes, so it's getting kind of warm and melting against my hands. My hands. So now we're gonna cut this all together, and I'm just gonna use a fork. Um, which I, if I get tired of doing that, I'm gonna bring out the food processor. But I don't really like washing my food processor. It's kind of a pain. So we're just gonna start. <laughs> grinding things together with the fork. Alright, so I was able to get our dough to come together. I ended up working with my hands quite a bit um, just because I didn't feel like the fork was cutting it and I know you're not really supposed to do that um, you know because you're handling the dough and you're handling the butter and the butter's gonna melt but you know what? I'm not a professional, and this was a really dry dough, and it was really hard to get it to come together with my fork, and I don't want any judgment from anybody. <laughs> Just kidding. Alrighty, so I have a greased 8x8 baking dish here. Plop that down in there. I'm just going to smush this down and spread this along as the base for our lemon bars. Also, the recipe didn't say to grease the pan, but I mean, there is enough butter in this dough that would probably be fine, but I just really don't like things to stick when I'm baking, so executive decision made, we sprayed. <laughs> This is going to go into a 350 degree oven. We're going to bake it for about 15 minutes. Sorry, I couldn't find the place in my recipe where I said how long to bake it. 15 minutes, we're going to bake the crust in our 350 degree oven. And while this is baking, we're going to work on our filling. Okie dokie. It is time for the filling. The piece de resistance of the lemon bars. I don't know what that was. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, so for the filling, we need one cup of sugar. We need two tablespoons of flour. We need half a teaspoon of baking powder. Just going to combine this all together. All right, so now we need to add two eggs that have been lightly beaten. The juice, which is about a quarter cup of one large lemon. And we need the zest of same large lemon. Gonna mix it all together. So our crust is done. Here it is. Beautiful. It smells like flour and butter. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to pour the filling directly on top of the crust. Be sure and get every last little bit out of the bowl. We don't want any of this delicious stuff to go to waste. Look at that. It smells beautiful and lemony. She'll love it, hopefully. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, folks. I appreciate it. I'm gonna pop these in my 350 degree, <laughs> I'm gonna pop these in my 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're mostly set, but still kind of jiggly in the middle. Um, and then I'm gonna whip up a quick little lemon frosting that's just some powdered sugar and lemon juice and just drizzle it on top while they're still warm before I let them cool. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support that I get from you all. Thank you so much for watching. It means more than you could ever know. I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening.